The New York City Council attacks electronic cigarettes with several bills. On August 9th, New York City's City Council voted on several pieces of legislation that affect electronic cigarettes. The first one is 1544B, an amendment that puts a 10% tax on tobacco products other than cigarettes, which includes e-cigarettes, and sends the proceeds to public housing. This law was passed by the City Council and is waiting for the mayor's signature. Something interesting about this bill is that it also states retail dealers of cigarettes and e-cigarettes would also be prohibited from delivering cigarettes, tobacco products, and e-cigarettes to consumers under this bill. I didn't know that cigarettes or e-cigarette delivery was a thing, but if anyone was doing it, they can't anymore. The second bill is 1547A, which puts a cap on the amount of tobacco retailers that are allowed in the city. Actually, it limits the amount of tobacco retail dealer licenses, but it's essentially the same thing. The cap has been determined to be half of however many licenses are already in effect at the time the bill is passed. This one has also passed and is waiting for the mayor's signature. The district caps don't affect any retailer who already has a license, so those people will be able to renew their licenses as usual. And they won't be taking licenses away, but I think this can be interpreted to mean that no tobacco retailers, including vape shops, will be allowed to open until retail license licenses are below the new cap, which practically means never. And then a third bill, 1532A, does basically the same thing that the last one, 1547A, does, but specifically targets electronic cigarettes. This one requires that anyone selling e-cigarettes has a license to sell them. This also caps the number of electronic cigarette dealers to half as many as already exist. And also like the last one, this doesn't affect anyone who already has a license. And then a fourth bill, 484A, prohibits smoking and vaping in common areas of public housing, such as apartment buildings that have fewer than 10 units. This is already a law in buildings with more than 10 units in NYC, so now they are covering the rest. A common area would be defined as areas like lobbies, stairways, roofs, and parking lots. And then finally, 1585A, which requires that any rental buildings have a smoking policy, including apartments, co-ops, and condos. The bill doesn't impose specific requirements in the policy, it only requires that rental buildings have one. The idea behind this is that potential tenants know whether or not they will be living in a building that allows or doesn't allow tobacco use. I don't see anything wrong with that one. So yeah, the New York City Council went to town on electronic cigarettes earlier this month. Uh, the biggest issues are mainly the the 10 tax and the cap on vape shops that 10 tax really sucks for sure but the new cap on vape shops is huge consumers can still buy online but no more vape shops can open in the city this will severely limit access to smokers who want to seek a less risky alternative to smoking if any vape shops go out of business a new one won't be able to open in its place because the cap has to be at half of what currently exists. It, that might be years or even decades or more before enough shops close to the point where more licenses be, can be given out. So lots of bad news for New York City residents.